welcome back to Black Sheep Family Artism. My name is Nicole. If you're new here, and if you're new here, skrrr, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, be down for gang, 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 gang. Uh, this is our two-year-old Jackson that will be in the video, and also my husband will be in the video. Uh, his name is Jay from Jay Space TV, and you can also find him on Clipped on Artism. Uh, I wanted to come on here in the intro and just tell you guys, thank you guys for all y'all support. Thank you to everybody that has shared my channel out, to people that might find this channel interesting. Um, and I also just want to tell you guys that this video will be a longer video because this is a part one of Jackson screening. I will have a part two of Jackson screening and a part three of Jackson screening. And let you guys know what we have came up with and what the doctors have came up with as far as if Jackson has autism as well. So I just want to let y'all know that you're getting the video. Also, this is a longer video. So if you're not interested in autism questions as far as the screen is, you know, different behaviors that your, your kid or a child with autism could be doing, you might not want to watch this video. It's a real thorough video. I do thorough videos. I don't just sit here and be like, uh, um, hmm, uh, um, I, I don't do that. So, and I also do these videos so people, I, know, I mean, I know it's going to be people that feel like, you know, it's just people trying to like expose their kid and expose their child privacy and stuff like that, blah, 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 this, blah, 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 that. Me personally, I found one YouTuber, one whole YouTuber that talks about autism on his channel and his child is different from my child you know it's a whole autism spectrum uh everybody know about the crap that happened with Mika, michael whatever her name is and some of his progression and stuff like that Mo a lot of stuff that she put on her channel i, I will i won't be doing it over here i won't be putting my kids meltdowns over here it's just some stuff you just don't put on you just don't do that uh but as far as with the screening and the questions and the behaviors and just the uh, updates as far as the speech language and stuff like that that we're going through and stuff like that as far as with Jackson in general because Jackson is getting physical occupation with speech therapy. That's the type of stuff that you will be able to find on this channel. You will be able to find updates with Julian and his autism and his uh, improvements and stuff like that as well because y'all do know that Julian does have autism. Um, He's level two, consider it modern and stuff like that. So this is more so like an educational side of it, hence why it's Black Sheep Family and autism. So we do talk about autism. We autism is not just our only, you know, what, what do you call it, topic that we talk about on the channel though as well. So yeah. Anyway, I'm done rambling. We're gonna get on to the video. <laughs> Sugar should have been to some sweet. So, hey. Hey. How you doing? Can y'all see me and hear me okay? Yeah, I can see you uh, and hear you, but I don't see where we went on the little screen, so maybe it's. Yeah, it's. I can't see myself either, uh, so. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> As long as y'all can see me and hear me okay, then that is good. He's cute. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I'm glad we finally got the email address to work. I, um, I did text me to see if she was using just to see because I was going to update it in the system. Um, but if, if it's the same one that I was trying, I'll just put the one that I just used in there as the one to, to use for going forward if we need to use it. Okay. Nice to finally see you guys. Um, thank you for sending that paperwork in. Um, I was able to go through that, so I had a chance to kind of review everything. Um, but just want to hear kind of your words, what your concerns are for Jackson, and what you're hoping that I can help you with. Well, as far as his, uh, as far as like his his temper tantrums and his speech, it's uh, his head. Yeah, it's, banking his head, body. Yeah, he he does a lot of that now. Okay. What else is it? Um, he don't like to play with nobody. Yeah, he okay. like a baby bully. 
Okay. That's, that's yeah. what I call him, baby bully. Real aggressive. And he's at Pediatrics Plus? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that the one in Sherwood? Mm -hmm. How long has he been there? Uh, he's been there since 2014. At least six months. Mama. Okay. Mama. Hmm. Mama. Hmm. What's wrong? When he's, um, I'm hearing Mike getting some sounds and saying, Mama, um, does he use words to communicate or is it more just kind of like jibber jabber? Mama. Yeah, it's, to me it's like jibber jabber. It might be, might be something you could think of like a uh, or make out rather, like juice. But he he rather yeah, yeah. he yeah he rather walk up to you with a cup and just give it to okay. you versus saying. So occasionally what it is. he'll use like a single word. Yeah, yeah, okay. that's kind of where we stuck with or stuck at really. Okay. Before he started at Pediatrics Plus, was he getting any of those therapies outpatient, or did it all kind of start at the same time? He uh, was getting all the therapies except physical therapy at What's that, uh, Building Bridges and Cabot. Okay. And how long did he get therapy there? I think he was there for a year. I, yeah, I would say a year. Okay. And um, what kind of sparked you guys getting him started in therapy you guys having concerns then was he not meeting milestones kind of what what was your driving force to do that he wasn't meeting milestones and we wanted to go ahead and get his help because i have four kids my oldest two they got the speech therapy and stuff like that and they're fine now which his okay. other big brother julian though he gets a speech therapy and we found out that he does have autism, so if there's anything wrong, we wanted to go ahead and yeah. try to address it early on versus waiting and seeing okay. if his speech was going to improve and seeing if it's going to improve versus just getting him the help. Okay. How old is Julian? Three. And who diagnosed him with autism? Uh, I just know it's DDC. I don't know. I don't remember all their names. Okay. It's in the paperwork. In our clinic, though? Yes. Do you remember when that happened? I think June 17th of... Last year. It was 18? Was it 18? Or I 19? Think, I think it was 18. I think so. Yeah. Okay. And is his last name Thompson also? Mm-hmm. I was just going to look up and see kind of who he also. Do you see similarities with June and Jackson? Yes. Yes. Okay. Did Jackson ever have more words and then stop talking, or yes. yeah, he, has it always been slow to progress? Yeah, he, he, he had some and then went went backwards. And then yeah, he regressed like, and he stopped. Yeah. It's like he was coming up with words and then it just kind of yeah, like the same thing with Julian. Like it it was coming and then it just stopped. Yeah. How old was he when that happened? I'm sorry. I saw like a year and a half. Is it what, two yeah. now? Okay. Yeah, it was a little bit after a year. Okay. He's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> he watching Blaze, so he being good right now. Yeah, he got Blaze. He's Blaze. watching Blaze, so he being good right now. Oh, I love Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, um, sometimes it's helpful. Let's see. Anything else you guys can think of right now that's a concern I'm going to kind of go through? that parent form you guys filled out and ask you guys some questions just about that. All right, so I'm gonna come in this video, uh, and this room, it's not like completed, so it has an echo in it or whatever, but I want to come in this video and go ahead and say, me filming this video is not me exposing his illness or anything like that. It's just for people that think their kids might have autism and or people that don't know what to expect with like a virtual question or what questions that they ask to see some of the behavior so it's more so to educate other people because we can find in these videos on uh youtube and we really don't know people that know anything about autism and autism is something that's like on the rise and a lot of kids do have autism and a lot of people like to uh I guess show their kids meltdowns and show some of their challenges and stuff like that. 
I would rather kind of explain them and tell you guys what they're doing versus it versus putting a camera in their face and showing you what they do. So, or what a child with autism or personal autism could be doing. Uh, there's different types of autism. That's why it's a whole spectrum. So, this is more so to educate people. I know it's still going to be people that feel as if be educating my audience and showing a journey that we, we are going on with our two kids. Or it's going to feel like we're doing that whole Micah, Mika, whatever thing to expose him, but it's really not that. Um, so, yeah. I just wanted to come on here and like kind of clarify why I'm putting this up there. A lot of people, we have friends that have kids that's doing the same thing. And they didn't know that, that that meant or it could mean that that kid could have autism. A lot of people don't know what autism is. And since Julian had autism, I didn't know what it was. I didn't know none of the signs. I didn't know none of nothing to even look for for autism. So that's kind of what this is. And the person that's doing the interview, I just left her voice on her. I didn't put the camera facing her in jet. Like, I, like, nah. Like, I'm going to sit here and respect somebody's privacy, but I do want you guys to hear, like, the questions and the screening and stuff like that. And a lot of people actually do want to know about autism, so, yeah. Um, anything else? Yeah. Like we do yeah. that. Um. He don't pretend play. Um, okay. Yeah, he doesn't he, know that. His interest level is actually fast. Like, he don't. We can't get him engaged yeah. more than like five minutes. Like trying to read a book to him, a bedtime book or something like that. Like it's a no. Yeah, he'll tear up the okay. pages and stuff like that. Um, okay. He hates he baths. Yes. Okay. He hates baths. He hates to brush his teeth. He used to no. He used to love the bath. And yeah. He used to love to brush his teeth. I don't know what happened, but it is a whole circus show now. Um, okay. Haircuts. Yeah, he uh, hates haircuts it? now. Okay. Where you going? I don't know. You can't go bye-bye. Where are you going? Hmm. You need a drink? Where are you going, buddy? Hey. Jackson. Jackson. You don't want the juice? You, you ain't talking to nobody either. Then you ain't talking. <laughs> when you call his name, does he respond to his name? Uh, sometimes. But and, unless he's trying okay. to ignore you. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he, but he knows his name. Hurt him, man. You can't go out there, door. Okay, when he wants to respond to his name, he will. Mm hmm What about eye contact? No. I don't. Yeah, I, I would. Kind of when he wants to. Uh, what? Mm -hmm. Stop throwing it. Like, like he's throwing his, little, now? throwing his little fits now for whatever reason. Hey. What's wrong with him? Mm -hmm. What? What kinds of things does he like to play with? His tablet and Blaze cars. Yeah. Okay. Anything other than that, he yeah, overlook. Yeah. When he's, when he's playing with his cars, do you see him lining those up, spinning the wheels? Yeah, he'll hold it right here. Yeah, that's the weird. Yeah. Like that's what Julian did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And also, he hold it next to his eye, come to the side. Mm -hmm, and and, then look at it. And also, okay. a weird thing that he does is when he. When he's playing, he looks like in his left or right, and he is spinning around in a circle. But normal, I guess, kids, they just spin around in a circle. But Jackson would like turn both his eyes to the side and look like he's trying to look behind him. But that's how he's playing for I don't know whatever reason. Okay. Do you see him like pretending to drive? If Julian is doing, it. if they are, you know, okay. trying to like, like a train set, they just behind okay. each other. But the moment somebody's doing something different, Jackson is on or something different. Yeah, well, I do see him uh, pushing them. He just, when he down on the floor, he just be looking at it though and pushing it like he's trying to make sure it's on the floor or something. Yeah. Okay. So kind of getting down eye level to look at him roll. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Play Blaze. Um, Listen to Baby Shark in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> in Spanish? Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Now you gonna say uh oh before you drop it. You just be doing the most. <laughs> Way by and blow people a kiss yeah. when he know that he's leaving, okay. but okay. he like pickable, but he don't do it. Okay. And one of one of the other things that he seemed to be stuck on is this doors thing. Yeah. For whatever reason, everything is doors. Yeah. It's like a little hand signal. I don't know, what, you know, if he got it from school. It is this mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. doors. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised he ain't doing it now because normally when. <laughs> No, we're not done. We heard him kind of echo you what? when he said what? He said what? <laughs> <laughs> he echo you a lot. He, he'll, he'll repeat you, but it, it, it's like an on his time thing. Yeah. Okay. You know, we could be trying to get him to, to say, say purple, something. blue, yeah. pink. Stuff that we know he's. So, well, if you want him to repeat it, he probably yeah. won't. Yeah. Yeah, like. Other times yeah. Most I hear him doing is like rah or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's some okay. kind of it's some kind of little game what? on his tablet where the, the monster eats the food, and I, that's the only time I've ever noticed him. You can feed the monster, and so when you feed him something okay. good, the monster goes mmm, mm, and he'll sit there okay. and, and mimic that, but too many mmms okay. and he's on to something else. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So really, real short attention span. Oh yeah. If you want him to, um, I know you mentioned like reading a book, you can't really get that done. If you're trying to engage with him in an activity and get his attention onto something that you guys want him to do, will he do that or is it more kind of on his terms? He'll try for like a minute or two and it's like whatever. That's not interesting. Yeah. I, I would call it a more on his terms type of thing. Because okay. he, he quick to go into that fallout temper tantrum. Yeah. Okay. Real quick. Kind of wants his needs met like right then. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Don't throw your phone. Anything else um, that he does? I know you mentioned like the doors. Anything else you see him do with his body? Like finger posturing? his hands? Yeah, he'll, he'll do a whole lot of like that stiffness and shaking. Um, okay. Like tensing up his body? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You do a whole lot of that. It's kind of rocking, kind of side to side, back and forth when we first got on. Do you guys see him rocking, kind of? Yeah. Yeah. Um, any oh. toe walking? No, I haven't seen that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know he all uh, off like balance. his hands when he's excited? No, yeah, when he's mad. And grinning his teeth. I know he grits his teeth. Which is irritating. What about different movements with his fingers? Kind of holding them in a different way? Or kind of like when he's excited, maybe kind of posturing his fingers a little differently? Mama. Mama. Not that I know. I know what. A lot more of when he's upset. Mama. Okay. Mama. What? Dada. Dada over there. Any trouble with your pregnancy with him? No. And then vitamins and some allergy medicine, eating melatonin, um, any other medicines that he's taking every day. No, albuterol. I forgot to put that on there, but that's as needed. Okay. okay. 
And is the Claritin just as needed also? Nah, that's seasonal. That's every day. Oh, okay, it's not supposed to be raining. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Other than his circumcision, any other surgeries or hospitalizations? He has, uh... Uh, what is it called? He had a surgery. I don't remember the name of it, but they had to open up his throat so he can swallow. Uh, okay. Laryn Laryngomyalgia. Laryngomalacia? Yes. Yeah, that, that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that was close. That's always a fun word to try to say. Yeah. How, do you remember how old he was when he had that done? Mom. Mm. I want to say six to nine months. Yeah, it was okay. Crazy. Was he having trouble like feeding or um yes feeding or all right so now he's got some some uh after like seasonal allergies any other food or medication allergies no not that i think of mm -mm. okay and then is his asthma more related to the allergy seasons type stuff yes or if he's sick Okay. Any eczema or other skin problems? His, uh, to me he had a real bad dry skin and he do have okay. bumps here but I don't know if it's eczema or not. We haven't took him to the hospital for it. Okay. Um, any other health issues or injuries, concussions, seizures? No. Anything else? Other head injuries, him banging his own head. Okay. Has he ever knocked himself out? No, he just have he have gave himself a knock because when he gets mad at you, he'll bang his head on the floor or bang his okay. body on the floor. Okay. Is um is anyone at Pediatrics Plus working on that kind of stuff with him, or they talked about like? Occupational therapy type stuff that they're doing to kind of intervene behaviors. They just said that they uh, try to redirect him. And as far as with the hand gesture, I forgot to say, they say that he be stemming. They call it stemming. But when he gets, they say, upset or have anxiety, he does this thing with his hands. And he okay. just repeatedly does this. And it's, it's weird. His hands. Do you see that at home too? Yes. We didn't know what was stemming, but yeah. He also sleepwalks. I never had a kid to sleepwalk. Okay. How long has that been going on? Jay, mm -hmm. how long you think he's been sleepwalking? Uh, I don't know, but I just now noticed it. So I would say, I would say probably about maybe a month at least. You, you think that's it? Yeah. Well, that's all I've noticed. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess it's not like a, a nightly thing, but it's... Be a devil, you know what I mean? Yeah, he also had the thing where he was waking up in the middle of the night hollering and screaming and we would try to wake him up and he wouldn't wake up like he was having a bad or like he has bad dreams. Mm -hmm. But he wait if you wake him up he's mad and ready to fight you. Yeah, that's um really common in his age group. Ah, okay. Uh, it's it's um it's so it's night terrors rather than nightmares. Okay. So the to do when that happens is um, you know make sure he's safe but if you do try to wake him up it can make it worse okay. um, of course every initial instinct is to try to wake their child up and and like you know, have a bad dream but because you think I'm gonna get him I want them to comfort him and I want him to know that they're okay and you know wake him up from the bad dream but when it's a true night well, terror oh, usually oh. Like prolong it or make it more exaggerated so if you can okay. you know, just make it pretty safe try not to wake him up just you know, if you need to touch him you know, let him let you let him know that you're there um but then just kind of it out um sometimes that can happen more frequently in kids who have like allergy especially seasonal type allergies and um it seems to be a more common occurrence uh, when like tonsils and adenoids are inflamed uh, due to like allergy related type stuff that can be an, an issue um you know if he were in clinic i would probably try to look and see how big uh, his tonsils are um i can't do that through the screen so 
Um, if he has a, a PCP visit, maybe just ask him to look and see how his tonsils look. Um, but if I end up bringing you guys into clinic, I can also uh-huh. have him just me. And that may be something to, especially since he's not, you know, got, have a night tear, also sleepwalking. That may be something that once all this coronavirus kind of dies down, to go to ENT over at Children's Hospital and just have them take a look at him and see if there's anything that they need to do from, from their standpoint. Um, does he snore? Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> like a little grown man. Like he be walking okay. a real job. Um, what about um, like talking in his sleep or you know? I know he dries out. And has- Mama. I don't even know the whole talking part. Okay. The chances are, you know, since he does have the seasonal allergies, he's probably got some inflammation in there in his nose. Uh, so if you can, if you hear him snoring, try to get like of it or at least the sound of it um because if you do end up going to emt they're probably gonna want you to they're gonna want to see what it sounds like when he snores because they're looking to see like how loud is it how does it sound obstructive in any way could it be potentially getting in the way of his breathing and, and getting in the way of good quality and just like especially at this age this age can really affect daytime behavior so we want to make sure he is sleeping good um you know it sounds like you guys have kind of done your interventions for for that and y'all are doing a great job um and i was you know continue that um how much melatonin is he taking uh two to three milligrams or it's gummies i think it's one milligram yeah, for gummy yeah, they want okay. a piece. so he can have up to as much as nine milligrams safely mm-hmm. so um if that amount seems to be good um you know, you can continue that. Did you notice if the night terrors worsened when the melatonin started? Mm-hmm. Actually, actually, he just kind of slipped through. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sometimes um, melatonin can cause a, a kid to get into a deeper sleep, and so sometimes um, it can cause some bad dreams just because they're in a deeper sleep mm-hmm. than they been in if they weren't taking it. And sometimes that will kind of come and go. Um, but I wouldn't. If that's helping him sleep and helping him get to sleep and stay asleep longer, keep doing it. Just know that you need to be up as much as milligrams. And I'll put all of that in. What? Okay. Um, as he gets a little bit older, there may be other things that we can do as far as not medicine to help with sleep. Melatonin doesn't seem to be as effective. Um, but I think for right now, that's a good thing to just continue that. Um, let's see. Tell me a little bit about his diet, appetite, nutrition. Is he a picky eater? Yes. To me, yeah. Yes. Okay. Does he have like his favorite foods and that's all he'll eat? Chicken or pizza. Yeah. Okay. He started out liking french fries and now it's more chicken than fries. Okay. So if I give him like a Is nugget meal. Is chicken or pizza? Huh, what did you say? Is it a certain type of chicken or pizza, or can it be any kind? Oh, yeah. I think it's, I think I it's, think it's any kind of chicken. Yeah. And pizza, he likes to eat the pepperoni, take all the pepperonis off, eat the pizza, then eat the pepperoni. Okay. Yeah. And he likes corn. He don't eat okay. a lot of vegetables, fruit. Mm-hmm. He eat a banana. Okay. But that stuff he has to be in the mood for. Yeah. Chicken. Okay. If I'm ever wondering if he hungry or not, cause he just sometimes won't eat. Yeah, he know? won't eat, and we have to give him pizza sure. Yeah. A lot. Okay. So, but my go-to is like. <laughs> trying to feed your shirt. Chicken fillet, <laughs> grilled chicken, or something like that, and break it up for him. Okay. Sometimes he'll look at it and. Like yeah. Sometimes he'll look at it and be like, oh, well, I want chicken, but I'm not going to eat it right now. Yeah. And you will literally still see it on the tray. And, and he like to put it all to the side, nice and neatly, like, nah. And then about five minutes later, you'll come back and all the chicken's gone. And you're like, when did you eat that? <laughs> he realized he was getting down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what is he drinking in his cup? Uh, Cranberry grape juice. Okay. Is that one of his favorites? No, I'm just, he just needs to do some cranberry juice. Okay. 
Yeah, sometimes I get them like that too. Milk. He a drink. Uh, what is that? Yeah, um, silk milk. Yeah, almond milk. But okay. regular milk, he don't drink it. Yeah. And I have to get him milk at night because he's not gonna just drink it in the daytime. So we give him pediatric. Okay. okay. How many pediatric shares a day do you think you're giving him? At least two. If he don't eat nothing all day, like he refuses to eat all day, that's kind of what we give him. Yeah, that's great. And I try to sucker him every now and then with a V8 splash. Yeah, he drink that. Yeah, that'd be so good. <laughs> but he, not water, uh, flavored water. He don't drink watering okay. down something so he get more water than like mm. this. He yeah. will not do it. And he's like, nope, I know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we talked a little bit about some of the sensory stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. When I printed that stuff out, it made it really dark, so I'm going to kind of write it down. Mama. What? All right, you said he hates haircuts. Yeah. He's washing his face. Brushing his teeth. And taking a bath, right? Yeah, he don't like taking a bath no more. He don't like none of his socks or shoes on. Okay. <laughs> he said he doesn't like to brush his teeth. Mm -mm. He don't like uh, uh, number two on him, but he also don't like for you to take it off of him. Like it's a whole okay. circus show for him to get clean. He move, he get okay. on his head, and he just move his whole body so that you can't clean. Okay. That's a okay. whole fit. Any types of like clothing that he, other than socks and shoes, that he just will not wear or has to wear? No. That's okay with like long sleeve, short sleeve, shorts, pants, yes. jeans, soft clothes. Okay. Um, does he have anything that he has to carry around with him at all times? A cup, uh -huh. blaze, a blanket, something, I guess, to comfort him. Yeah. Okay. He's so cool. Is he, um, oh, I see him like loving on you guys. Is he like to get in your laps and, and hug on you guys? Mm -hmm. Yes, he like for, well, to me, he like, he like for everybody to hold him and he like to be hugged tightly. And then, okay. depending on his mood, he trying to beat you up. But yeah. normally, he wants somebody to hug him. That's the main thing that they were saying in okay. daycare. And then he gone. Yeah. yeah. And then what? Then he gone off to the races. Okay. <laughs> so, whenever he's ready and when he's done, he's done. Okay. Yeah. And then we talked about some of that visual stuff with using that peripheral vision to spin and kind of watch from the corner of his eye. Ever seen him smelling things that you wouldn't expect him to smell? <laughs> he smells everything. <laughs> yeah, everything. Okay. Where are you going? Okay. He's smelling, trying to sample yes. everything. What? Yes. He smells and try to sample everything. He okay. haven't moved from that stage of trying to put everything in his mouth for whatever reason. Okay. Okay. Um, Bye-bye. And then, is he like a climber? Um, oh, yeah. Jumping up now, kind of a busy guy? Yes. Like no fear? No, no fear, no. No, you know that. He's aggressive okay. to the dog. Oh, yeah. He beat the puppy up. Okay. And he had an Ike and Tina love for the puppy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> little booty up. do a sibling. Yeah, yeah. Him and, him and uh, Julian fight all the time. Yeah. They play together, okay. but they own, they, they real boyish when you see them together. Okay. Yeah. Jackson will, will be grabbing Julian's shirt, trying to drag him down. Well, Jackson is way more aggressive than Julian. Yeah, so. he, he way, way more. Julian is more so like, hey, y'all help me because he is doing the most. And Jackson is like, so, yeah. I'm, I'm still going to beat you up for that car you got. Even though I got one that looks like it. He ain't even wanting a car, he's just a boy. Yeah. Um, what about loud noises? Do those bother him? What about who? Loud noises, I think. Like, yeah. Noises. Vacuum cleaners, sink, shower, any of that. Yeah. 
Flushing the toilet. Yeah, anything that startles him, he don't, he don't, he don't do well with it. If I cut the vacuum on right now, you'll probably see him climb under the cover here first. <laughs> but he bad. So he'll turn around and go cut it on himself. <laughs> and, and still run from me. Is that what he does? He's done with somebody else? Oh, well, I don't know, because he's still running the same. <laughs> uh, we talked a little bit about communication. I heard him saying...